Full Faces of Sober Speaks podcast, episode 51, part two. Uh, still got Mark on here. Um, I, I, I second what you were saying uh, in terms of, you know, trying to, you know, the, the, the message of the podcast is, is, is just trying to reach one person, if not more. And, and, and that's definitely key and vital because, like I said, I know that when, when I was first in, in my sobriety uh, phase, not phase, but just like the, the early stages of sobriety, I, I was kind of, I was afraid to, one, admit it, you know, on social media because I, most of everybody, you know, somehow, some way I met some, some people through drinking and, you know, in the army with them, drinking. And so for, for me to come out and be like, oh, by the way, I don't drink anymore. Like, nah, this can't be the, the party starter or the troublemaker while drinking. It's a, it's a different, uh, a different approach. And even with that is a lot of, I ain't gonna say, but there's been some of my friends that have been like, okay, if, if he can stop, maybe I can slow it down. If not just sustain from drinking period. And so you never know by just the message that you convey to people, how much of an impact that you have, even if they don't tell you, but sometimes, cause I, I just had a friend, matter of fact, one of my sisters, uh, one of my oldest sister, her, her friend, son, he's probably like maybe seven, eight years younger than me. And now he's sober. Now, you know, he just traveled, uh, was just, I think last weekend in Seattle, and so he's doing things, he's working out, you know, and, and making those changes. And, and I reached out to him and I said, look, man, I'm proud of you. If you ever need to talk, I'm here. Just know that you're not alone and you don't have to do this stuff by yourself. And like I said, your podcast, my podcast, you know, people can jump on on YouTube and other platforms and be able to look at it and hear not only me talk, but you talk and others share their stories and, you know, regardless of whatever they went through as, you know, growing up, but it's what are some of the things that you've accomplished now by making those changes within your life? Because it is possible, but like people don't, they don't see that part. They're just thinking like, oh, I have to stop. I have to stop using, I have to stop drinking. But then they're not realizing that the, there are some, some uh, positive outcomes. There's gonna still be bumps in the road, but, you it's better to see those bumps in the road sober and not using over you know you looking you know you're behind the uh the four walls of a jail cell trying to figure out wow maybe i should have stopped and so i i i definitely um appreciate the fact that you shared because i know that the the message is going to be heard and it needs to be heard by many because it's yeah you know, i don't know how it is in canada but it's kind of like a hit and miss. It's like there's some people who are like, okay, yeah, sobriety is the is, it's not so much of a trend, but it's it's a lifestyle. But then there's also people that you know you 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 see the bottles. You know, I'm, I'm hey, I'm holding X, Y, and Z, and but what 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 pain are they facing? You know, are they addressing those mental health issues? Are are they trying to better themselves, regardless of if it's mandatory to to go to a treatment facility? or a detox, you know, some people are afraid. They're, they're afraid to admit, hey, I got a problem. I need to fix it. My life is not manageable. I'm missing work. I'm missing, you know, missing getting money in my hands. But, you know, once you make some of those changes, the opportunities are definitely there because you wouldn't be able to see those opportunities if you're still using and drinking. So, but um, I uh, usually, I end my shows, um, you know, in a way, and I know you were just touching on it before we had uh, went from part one to part two, but, you know, what, what, what message do you want to leave or pass on to the next person that is on, on the fence in terms of, you know, getting away from that lifestyle and now, you know, how life is today? Like, because I, I think that the more uh, encouraging that that we can be to others, the more that we can help and, and, and make sure that, you know, individuals can, you know, utilize the resources that are 
there. Man, that's a sweet question. Um, and uh, we had a guest on our show, Tiffany Jenkins, and uh, she said it's incredible, man. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna piggyback on it. She says, if I knew then how great life was gonna be, and uh, that hit me, hit me pretty hard. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, peak of my addiction, I was, you know, I was, I knew I was going to die. You know, I was either going to overdose, I was going to kill myself, or I was going to make a change and get sober. See, right? So I had those three options. And uh, I wish at that moment, I knew how great life, my life was going to be. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, I'm just thankful to be here today. I like that. And, and, and that's the truly powerful because like I said, a lot of times we don't know what, what tomorrow is going to bring us, but we know about our past and, and, and the pain that we may suffer and face. And, and like I said, I never, I, I mean, I miss a lot of years of my life, my, my twenties, a, a big portion of my thirties to drinking and you know and now it's like okay I'm, I'm about to be 43 in two months and this so far has been the first decade of my life that i haven't had an ounce of alcohol and yeah. it is by far the best feeling and i want to yeah. i want to continue that and to continue to make the right memories the lasting memories not the the memories where you get scars and don't remember what happened i don't i don't want those kind of memories anymore and 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 I think that it is key and vital that we 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 find the root of the problem, we we get the help that we need, and and try to make those changes so that we are able to live a happier life and and not be so angry, so sad, so depressed because those times will come throughout you know being clean and sober you know it's life, but you know once you you know you you utilize more or less. To how to how to address it it makes it you know hopefully get those you know problems fixed or find somebody that can help you fix those problems and 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 that's what i'm all about and i know that's what you're all about mark just hearing you speak because i hear the passion i hear the passion in your voice and the only thing i could tell you is is keep going you you have you know a beautiful daughter that now you have to live for and and you don't want to be the worst version of yourself from the past you want to be as best as possible and i told you this and, and my lady she's sitting uh, on the couch i'm glad so she can hear this is that that's what i want when we do have kids is that i want to be in the best shape of my life to be there for her so that like i don't miss certain key you know vital moments in my life like my father did you know like i said i was an athlete baseball basketball football I can tell you how many games he attended in, in that period of time. And I started playing sports from seven till I was 17. And that's a shame. And, and I don't blame him. I forgive him. I've moved on from it, but I also acknowledge it because I'm not the only one that, that, you know, a father that missed out on those key moments. So, like I said, Mark, I definitely thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on 12 faces of sober speaks podcast, sharing your story sharing um that uh, you know that there is hope that regardless of if you have problems and issues that you are willing to just surrender and make those changes that that's needed to succeed in life and so and then also i i know in uh before we cut this um i, I didn't ask but i know you mentioned it and and i think that it is important and like i said i don't knock anybody's you know how they you know maintain you know being clean and sober but um how has uh without like i said going into detail uh, i know you mentioned uh na like how has that helped you i, I wanted i i totally forgot but I, I wanted to ask you that if you could just touch on that as well yeah um well in terms of staying clean and sober man and uh it kind of relates to what you were just saying. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, you have a, you know, you have a daughter now, you got to put her first. But to me, I put my recovery first. 
Right on. And I do that because, you know, my daughter, she, she deserves the best version of me. Right. Mm -hmm. And that comes with me putting my recovery first. And I know if I put my recovery first and I stay sober, she, I'm going to be an amazing dad. And uh, so every day I put my recovery first. I do, I journal every morning. I do a morning NA meeting. Um, I don't really follow the NA program per se. I kind of got my own program where I love NA for the connection. Same way we're talking now about recovery. I love sharing with people. I love hearing people share and taking what I can from people with, you know, years of recovery. And uh, that's what I love about the programs. And that's what I love about podcasting. And I love it about your podcast. And I love the community of sobriety. And I, you know, I just need to put my recovery first. And uh, I know when I put my recovery first, everything else is going to be good. All right, perfect. Well, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, um, um, actually, one, uh, one last thing. Where, where else, uh, what are all the platforms is, uh, are you on and in, in, in your podcast too? I'm going to, I'm going to list it in, um, in the description when I post it, but if you want to just mention, like I said, some people are better listeners than visual. So you could do that. And then, like I said, we'll close from there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can follow us on social media at off the rails recovery, um, on YouTube at off the rails recovery and every streaming platform. We are off the rails recovery. Okay, perfect. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes another wonderful episode of 12 Faces of Sober Speaks podcast. Uh, it's been a pleasure to hear another amazing story of recovery because recovery is possible. You got to do the work, but these are the results. And these are two people that, you know, have been through struggles and might not have the exact same story, but there's similarities, but we are able to get out of it. And, and, and better ourselves to help others and be the messenger that we maybe we didn't necessarily get during the process. So again, thank you for tuning in. More and more episodes coming in the works and I'm just thankful for being sober today. And that's all I have is this, this current 24. So y'all guys be blessed this weekend, stay out of trouble. You guys can reach me somewhere on 12 Faces of Sober on all platforms as well if you need to talk. I'm here, I give some really, really good advice and just use my experiences as, as a tool to help others. So once again, thank you for tuning in and uh, until next time, this is 12 Faces to Sober.